Bungie is saved. Oh god, I saw this. Oh god. Oh, Jesus Christ. So Bungie makes this tweet this morning. Or yesterday, actually. It was yesterday. And they say, being Latin A, Latin E, Latin O, Latin X, is more than just a location on a map. Just as being Hispanic is more than being the language that we might speak. Well, I've got a feeling that the person who wrote this tweet wasn't either one of those. We are proud to introduce our newest idea, Latin, at Bungie. So, uh... Other note is almost correct. Not even descendants of Latino migrants in the USA, like Latinx or Latin E or Latin people or Latin person would be correct. Um, so I think the reason why this is, Hispanic isn't even a language. So I'll talk a little bit, um, obviously there are a lot of people that are, uh, you know, from Latin descent, Hispanic, Mexican, whatever you want to say, uh, that were not happy about this, obviously. And Bungie did the only smart thing to do, right? Because, like, what do you do whenever you try to pander to minorities and then the minorities say, stop pandering, you're just using us as a marketing tool? Well, you silence those minorities and you keep marketing. You keep marketing, of course. And so what did they do? They went over here and they, uh, geez, that was, I was kind of scared scrolling through that. I thought I was something else. Um, anyway... So they actually <laughs> Yeah, that that about uh That just about does it. You know what I mean? That just about does it. And so anyway, uh they went and they hid their replies. Because nothing says elevating voices like hiding them. How cute. So, a lot of people that obviously uh, are one of these uh, different types of ethnicities were very annoyed by this. And uh, coming, like, I'm, I'm from Texas. And do you know where Texas is from? It's from Mexico. Whenever I went to high school, about 75% of my school was Hispanic. And whenever I say Hispanic, like, I've always felt, this is my perspective, right? Is that they all refer to themselves as Mexican. Right? They're not saying that they're Hispanic, Latino, sometimes Latinos, whatever, but it's mainly they say they're Mexican because they're from fucking Mexico. What a big fucking surprise. So anyway, I, uh, I, I've always said Hispanic. I, th I thought Hispanic was better because, like, they're not Mexican in my mind. They're a fucking American. Like, they were born here. They're an American. That's all there is to it to me. Like, this dude's name is Eric. Like, <laughs> like this, this is a fucking American. So, like, that was my perspective. But, like, if somebody says they're a Mexican, then they're a fucking Mexican. That's what I think. It's unfortunate that Bungie doesn't respect their culture enough to be able to offer them the same, uh, the same level of, uh, of, of respect. Right? Uh, it, it's awful. And so, I, I find this to be incredibly patronizing. And this is kind of the stuff that I see. Say my mom taught me that some of my Mexican friends were like, don't call me that shit, I'm Mexican. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, like, and... I, I try not, like, if I explain it to somebody, like, the thing is that nobody's actually going to get mad at you if you're doing it in, like, a genuine way. Probably if you say Latinx to somebody and they don't like it, they'll say, I don't like that term, please don't use it. And, like, they're not going to hate you forever, right? It just depends on what's going to happen. They're like, ah, oh, that's my bad. Like, I, and you're like, yeah, it's my bad. I, I didn't mean to say that. Like, I don't know how to, how to, like, what fucking word you want, right? And they're like, yeah, I get it. Because they're normal people, right? They're not like these weird, like, fragile, uh, you know, glass figurines. These are real fucking grown-ass men and women. Like, they can handle somebody saying the wrong term to them and then apologizing and then correcting it. It's, it's not a big deal. So, anyway, I, I think that this is just another example. I've said this before, is that you have a lot of these companies that do this. And uh, this is, I think, one of the worst kinds of marketing. Uh, I really don't like this kind of marketing. Do you think this is some kind of woke shit? I think the reason why people are trying to... Ready for it? You're gonna like this. Culturally appropriate. The Spanish language is because it's gendered. That's what I think. I think that's why they're doing it. I think it's uh, very annoying. It's extremely annoying. They think that they have the moral authority 
to go to another culture, another language, and then literally change their words. And you know who these people are. And they are probably not this group. Let's just say that. They're probably mostly my group. Woke colonialism. I like that. That's cute. So, yeah. And uh, you ever uh, have Puerto Rican rice? Is better than Taco Bell? Uh, I'm pretty sure I've been to a lot of Mexican restaurants. They've all been better than Taco Bell. Uh, I'll be honest. Okay? Uh, I, I don't even think Taco Bell's that bad. But, uh, you know, we got a lot of... Um, Got a lot of great Mexican restaurants here. Uh, Taco Bell is not that. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll have Taco Bell, right? But that's it. Companies are disgustingly dishonest. It, it's silly. So this is really why I don't like it, right? Is that what are these people doing? What is Bungie doing here? Bungie is co-opting a ethnicity of people, misrepresenting them, and then using them as a marketing tool to boost the... You know, you could say diversity, equity, and inclusion score, sure, right? But really, what are we talking about here? Um, they're boosting their public image. They're trying to, they're trying to use this group of people to boost their public image. They are using Latino people, or Hispanic, Mexican, Cuban, whatever the fuck. They are using them as a marketing tool, and in the process of that are literally culturally appropriating their culture and their language. That's it. It works. You like this tweet? I like all tweets that I'm going to talk about on my stream. Anyway, the point is that um, this is something that you see a lot recently. Um, and, and we've been seeing this now for like almost 10 years now, uh, where companies will co-opt a, uh, a social movement, right? They'll co-opt uh, Black Lives Matter. A lot of companies did this. Uh, they'll co-opt uh, like uh, gay rights or something like that. They'll co-opt a uh, ethnicity of people a and they'll use this as a tool to market themselves. And I actually find this to be incredibly bad. And I understand that some people are going to make the argument and I want to address this argument right now. Um, they're going to make the argument that it's okay that they do it because they are working towards a greater good, right? So they're saying, yes, um, it, it, is, uh, it is cynical of them to do, it is self-serving, but it is ultimately a net positive, so I'm okay with it, right? So some people say that. I disagree, and here's why I disagree, is that imagine you have a completely clear uh, body of water, right? And you put something in the water that's like food coloring. That will change the color of the water. The water is the idea, and the companies are the food coloring. The truth is that these companies are doing this because their reputation is not great. Bungie has been criticized tremendously for uh, the way that they've monetized Destiny 2. People have been very unhappy with Destiny 2. Now with Marathon coming out, Destiny 2 players are angry uh, that, okay, this is like now it's happening. And, uh, you know, like, where's our Destiny support? And you see this with a lot of companies, right? I think Blizzard is a great example of this. So what they do is they take what is like a perfect ideal. And obviously, like, I'm not saying that like every political movement is perfect. But what I'm saying is it is like an objective ideal. And they attach their brand to that political movement, like creating baggage and a negative connotation in the mind of the audience with that political movement. And I can respect companies like Hobby Lobby, Chick-fil-A, and Ben and & Jerry's because I think they really believe it. I do. Now, I don't agree with everything they say, but I can respect the fact that they're willing to lose money to say it. But these companies are not willing to lose money to say it. They're saying it because they stand to gain money. And that's the truth. Fuck Ben & Jerry's. I might not agree with Ben & Jerry's, but I can respect their freedom of speech, and this is their ability to do that. It's their right. And I think that's okay. So the point is that um, these companies are, are doing it for a, a profit reason. And I think that they pollute and they complicate and they muddy the waters in what is otherwise an ideal political movement. It is a movement of ideals. And then they bring in their corporate baggage. They bring in their uh, like shareholder priorities to this. 
And that's what they do. And I think it hurts the movements. I do. I, I really think that it does hurt the movements. I, I, I wish companies would stop doing this. And I wish more people would start keeping up and uh, paying attention to this happening. Corporations don't care about you. Of course they don't. Yeah, if it was profitable for them to promote white power, they would have that everywhere. They don't really care. It's the outrage, uh, more of the stupid marketing that causes harm. Marketing is going to, uh, marketing, that won't change. Um, I do think that marketing through social, um, marketing through social causes and political causes is relatively new. I think it started um, in about 2014 or so. Now, obviously, it happened before then, and it will always happen, but I think it became much more popular at that point. So, yeah. Uh, that, that's basically... I'll read a few comments about this, but uh, Bungie definitely did an oopsie, and I think they should apologize for this, to be honest with you. Uh, they should. Uh, it makes them look really bad. Um, I'm Cuban, and if somebody called me Latinx, I would feel the same way. Uh, if somebody called me cisgender, for me personally, it's just weird. Uh, yeah, I, I think so. And um, again, I think that the real problem is that, you know, these people are asserting this... Like, I'm sure, like, for example, if somebody went and they said that to you and you're like, ah, that's weird, don't call me that, and they say, ah, that's my bad, right? You know, culture's weird now, it's hard for me to keep up. And you're like, oh, yeah, for sure, I get it. And, like, it's never an issue again, then I don't think you're, like, I don't think you're going to hate that person, right? Uh, it's not a big deal. So, yeah, I think it's just common sense. And it's uh, the patronizing nature of it. Uh, don't actual Spanish-speaking people hate this shit? Yes, uh, people find Latinx pretty offensive. I mean, that some treat it as a slur, which is fair. And you can see why it's a slur, right? Because it is a, a, uh, it is a Western and an American appropriation of their language. And it is an, an intentional appropriation uh, based off of, in my opinion, an ideology. That's what I think. So, yeah, why would they not take disrespect to it? Sure. Um, I comments in by a tweet author, pretty telling of how this went down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Like, look at this. Anytime, bro, like, anytime. This is the, this is the real ratio, okay? Ratio used to not mean getting more likes than, uh, than the other person. It used to mean getting more comments or retweets than likes. That's it. Really competing with life, life by standards. Um, I remember all the days uh, game companies cared about making a fun game. Uh, this is the marketing department, uh, which is probably half of game studios nowadays. I'm half Mexican. Everyone in the family laughs at Latinx. Out of touch take. Of course it is. Uh, people need to just stop. No one in the Hispanic community I live in uh, likes this crap. Yeah, but it doesn't matter because they're trying to do it for your own good. Yeah, you have to understand that they're trying to help you. Yeah, they're, they're trying to they're trying to bring bring your language into the 21st century. Yeah, they know better. They know they know your language better than you do, and they have the authority to tell you how you need to talk. That's just how it is. Sorry, man. But yeah, I mean, obviously, Hispanic people are going to have their viewpoint on things, but what really matters are PR departments full of white people who don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, that's that's what that's what really matters here. Okay. Sorry. No way. Is white streamers calling it a slur though? Oh, I'm not calling it a slur. I'm saying somebody could feel that way, and somebody else that was, uh, you know, part of the group said that it was a slur. I, I'm saying, like, I could understand why somebody thinks it is a slur. Would I classify it as a slur? No, I wouldn't. Does that make sense? Are, are, you, are you still upset now? Are you still crying? Shut the fuck up, pussy.